I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but I believe after the day I have, I, I believe I'm going to. Uh, today has been sweet and sour. I uh, started off this morning and loaded up a load of corn. And I uh, got that done. And then uh, I got a phone call saying my truck was done. Well, right here is my truck. Uh, you've not seen it in any of my videos because it's been broke down. This is a 2000 F350. It's uh, got the 7.3 diesel in it. Automatic. What happened to it is last fall I was moving hay. Transmission went out. And uh, like I said, it's, it's automatic. And I always said that if the automatic ever give up on me, I was going to put a standard in it. Finding a standard for this is like finding a needle in a haystack. I have spent months trying to find one. And if you do find one, they've got close to 200,000 plus miles on them, and they'll want $2,500 plus a core, which they won't take my automatic. So, and then I was going to have to have uh, clutch, pressure plate, flywheel, pedal assembly and so on so I was racking up pretty quick in uh, in changing this over so I decided that I was just gonna have the transmission rebuilt so they called me this morning and uh, told me it was done and I said I'll come get it so there's the sweet part now comes the sour so I go pick my wife up, we're on our way over to get it, and about halfway there, uh, the transmission place called me and wanted to know where I was, and I said, I'm on my way, and they said, well, we have a problem, and I said, okay, what is it? They said, a doped out guy has just pulled in our parking lot and has hit your truck, and we've called the law, and they're on their way. Now, we get there, first thing I see, I see my truck, but I can't really tell what it's done to it, is I see the vehicle that hit it. It was, uh, I'm not sure what it was, but it's some kind of smaller SUV, and the whole front end was tore out of this thing. The law was there, and this guy, he was so stoned out of his mind that he was just limp back in his seat. So anyway, I go up to my truck, and uh, it's not as bad as what I was picturing, but it's still bad enough. I'll show you. He hit it right here. It's dented. It's dented the bumper in a little bit. Bent it down here just a little, and I didn't realize it uh, till just a minute ago. But he's he's broke my grill too. It's busted right there, and it's broke a big chunk out right there. But all my radiators and stuff, they're all good. So, it could have been a whole lot worse. But it has still just irritated me to no end. We've got pictures, because we had to take pictures and stuff for the insurance and police report and things. And um, the place that, that rebuilt my transmission... They had all this on, on security camera, so they did send us the, uh, the video of it, and uh, I'll, I'll put these pictures in, in uh, the video of it, of, of him hitting it.
Now he hit it pretty hard, and uh, luckily, like I said, you know this is this is a beefier truck, and they was in some kind of a smaller SUV, and uh, it tore theirs up pretty bad. But you know, I I don't understand. For starters, why does people do drugs? All that does is causes problems, ruins people's lives. And then you take me, for example, you know, right here, I just spent over $3,000 getting my truck fixed. And then something like this. It's not that bad. I'm not going to do anything to it. But it's still the point, you know. And I'm sure that, that now, you know, it's, it's 4 o'clock. They called me about 12 and told me it was done. And then about 1 o'clock, when we're on our way to get it. Anyway. And it, it bugs me to no end when it comes to the law. The law is on the wrong side of the fence. And it's getting worse every day. You know, you take this guy right here. We, we found out that he was driving his mom's vehicle. Don't even know if he's got tags or, uh, well, we know he ain't got no tags because it had expired, but don't know if he's got insurance yet. But, uh, you know, he'll probably be out in a day or two, even if he's, even, he may be out now. I don't know. But in the video, he, uh, he sits at the gate. And he sits there for a long time, and he just pulls forward, plows right into my truck, backs up, and starts making a loop to leave. And the transmission guys run out and got him stopped. And, and they said that he never said nothing, never nothing. He just kind of slumped over in his seat, and there he was. When the law got there, and they finally get him to come to, he didn't even know he'd been in a wreck. You know, he showed him what he'd done to my truck and his vehicle, but he didn't even know he'd been in a wreck. I just don't understand why why people want to do stuff like that. I, I just don't know. Part of it anymore, I feel, is back to the law situation. They have no consequences. They don't have no consequences no more. People, when they get arrested, they go to jail. They get a slap on the wrist by the judge, and they're gone. They don't have, most of the people that's doing that, they don't have nothing to lose. They don't care. And jail is a better place for them than where they are out here. People can say all the time, you know, people that's stealing and stuff like that, well, I can't find work, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. Well, horse crap. There's plenty of work out here if people would just work and do things. You take us, for example, between me and my dad, we farm close to about 800 acres. 99% of it is done from me, my dad, and my wife. Mom helps a little bit, but a lot of it is, is left up to me anymore. There is enough work to do around here for 10 guys all day, every day. We can't get nobody to work. This transmission guys, you know, it took them six weeks from the time I dropped this truck off to the time I picked it up, and they said it's because, you know, they're so backed up and they can't get nobody to help them. I just don't understand where people are getting that there ain't no work because there is if people would just work. If people would work as hard at a job as they do committing crimes, stealing, the world would be such a better place. But I was raised different than, than most, I guess, and I can see it more every day of how the world is changing. And it's not changing for the good. It's, it's really not. But... Anyway, I'd better get off my soapbox before I say some things that I probably shouldn't because I've got a whole lot more thoughts when it comes to when it comes to things like this. 
but uh, anyway. And, and the sad part about this too is this guy was on the road, pulled in here and hit my truck. Now I want you to think about this for a minute. Let's take me and my family. You know, it's, it's me and my wife and we have four kids. What if we was on the road and because he decided to do his drugs and all the crap that he was on, we still don't know what he was on, but he was definitely on something. Crossed the center line and hit us. You know, we could have all been killed. We could have been fine. Would it affect him? Probably not. Would he get a life sentence? Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of debatable anymore. That's back to what I said, you know, the judge just gives him a slap on the wrist and, and, and lets him go. But anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.